Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So if you haven't heard already, Google recently released a brand new version of their spreadsheet tool, Google Sheets. So this updated version brings a lot of new features and improvements to the spreadsheet tool and it's something that I'm personally really excited about and I know you guys will be as well. So if you haven't noticed any changes to your existing spreadsheets, that is because this will not affect your older spreadsheets. It will only affect the new sheets that you create. So we're going to touch on a lot of the new features today. So I'm going to go through most of them one by one, but there's a couple that you may need to explore on your own. So first off, in this new version, you can finally create and edit spreadsheets offline. So this is something that's been available for docs and slides and drawings for a while now and it finally comes to Google Spreadsheets. So you'll need to first set up offline access and it's only available in Google Chrome. Next Google has made some huge speed improvements to Google Spreadsheets allowing them to load and scroll a lot faster. So they've done this by removing a lot of the limits for formula complexity and spreadsheet size. So there's no longer any limits to cells or formulas, but it's important to note that as you expand your spreadsheet with more cells and formulas and data, you may see the spreadsheets begin to slow down. So after touching on those first major additions, I want to show you how you can opt in to the new Google Sheets. So after you open up your Google Drive, you need to click on the settings gear in the top right corner of your screen and then select settings. From there, you can go to editing, and you'll see this new section here called New Versions. So to opt into the new Google Sheets, you'll need to check this box and then save your changes. So I've already started a new sheet in this brand new Google Sheets format. And the first thing that I want to touch on is the improvement to formula editing. So there are some great new function editing tools to help you build out some complex functions. So if I go ahead and start typing up a formula now, you can see that this whole formatting has changed, which gives you a nice little description of some of these different formulas. So if I go ahead and select some, you can see it makes it a lot easier to make changes to your formulas while also being aware of the context. So I can easily just select this data here and then close out my formula. Like I said, there's a lot of different tools here. It makes it a lot easier to make changes to formulas while always being aware of what you're working with. Google's also added some highly requested new functions. So these are things that I've heard from a lot of people that they're interested in adding, like some ifs and count ifs and average ifs. So these are formulas that depend on multiple different criteria and I know that a lot of you have been interested in adding these and so they're finally available which is definitely huge for a lot of people. The next addition to Google Sheets is a brand new feature called filter views and so one issue that we've run into when filtering data in Google Spreadsheets is that if you are viewing a spreadsheet at the same time as collaborators or lots of people are working within a sheet it's going to affect the experience for everyone if you start filtering data. So with filter views, you can preset different views that make it easy to, to switch back and forth between them. So for example here, if I select this range of cells here and go to the data tab and select filter views, I can create a brand new filter view. And this opens up a brand new tool in Google Spreadsheets and it allows you to filter your data and then quickly revisit it if you need to. So for example in this one I'm just going to filter this section by the by only berries. So I'm just going to select blueberries and raspberries and select OK and I'm going to name this filter berries. So after I close this down it'll return to the normal view but if I go back to data and select filter views you can see this berries option here so with one click I can go back to that filter view. So like I said this makes it really easy for collaborators to quickly revisit different filters without changing the experience for different people. Another really cool improvement is the ability to change the color of your tabs. So this is 
really simple to do. So I can just click here on the formula section here and then change my color. So I can change each one of these down here at the bottom to something that makes it really easy to recognize. Another addition is the ability to quickly paste data in a transposed format. So if I copy this data here and open up a new tab and then right click and go to paste special, you can see this option here for paste transpose. So this just takes that column of data here and then turns it into individual columns over here. Next, there's also some improvements to the find and replace tool. So rather than just finding replace from the entire spreadsheet, you can filter down by all sheets, this sheet, or specific range of cells. So you can select your cells there, and you can actually also search within formulas, which is really cool if you're looking for something really specific. So that's our introduction to the brand new Google Sheets. There's a couple of tools that I wasn't able to go over in this tutorial. Those include the new number formatting options. So there's a lot of those there that you're going to want to explore on your own, as well as some advanced conditional formatting improvements, which I don't think will apply to everyone. But if you're interested, it's definitely worth checking out. So if you guys have any questions about the new Google Sheets, or you just want to let us know how you feel about them, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.